everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to a character creation customization video for the third God Eater game. It just came out today. I've gone ahead and skipped past all of the cutscenes because I didn't want to spoil myself for the part one live stream of the game that I'm doing later on this evening. Make sure you check that out on my channel, guys. Um, so yeah, here we are at the character creation screen. So hopefully there's a lot of good options here and as always let me know your thoughts and opinions on how in-depth the character customization options are in this game. So we can change the name and also the code name, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And we've got male and female, so I'm going to go through all of the options for both male and female characters guys, so do not worry. But we're going to start off with male first of all, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So like I said, if you want to change your name and code name you can do that, but for this video I'm not going to bother. So let's go ahead. Right, so let's check out all of these hairstyles, guys. We've got, as options, hairstyles, hair color, face, eyes, eye color, skin color, accessory A, accessory B, and voice samples as well. And hopefully there's some more in-depth options with hair color, like highlights and stuff like that, but we'll have to see, guys. So let's check out the hairstyle. So this is hairstyle number one. I'm just gonna slowly rotate all of the hairstyles so you guys get a good look at these. And as always, as I'm going through these character creation options, guys, make sure you're sharing in the comments what your favorite hairstyle is, eye color is. How are you gonna make your character? Are you gonna be male? Are you gonna be female? Are you gonna have green hair, blue hair? Whatever, let me know. And of course, if you do wanna tweet at Gadget Girl Kylie, that is me on Twitter. There's a link down below in the video description. Feel free to share a screenshot of your character that you're making for this game. I find that stuff really interesting and I love seeing how other people make their characters in games like this. So I think for my character in the game when I start it later tonight on part one of the Let's Play livestream series, I'm probably going to go for my natural hair colour which is red. Um, obviously this is one of my many multicoloured wigs for the different looks for the streams which I love doing, but I think I'm going to go with red. That's like a traditional hair colour that I use for my characters in these types of games. I'm also really hoping that this game clicks with me more because I'm a massive fan of the Monster Hunter series, Freedom Wars, Soul Sacrifice Delta, games like that. In particular, Monster Hunter is my favourite hunting genre RPG series, but for some reason, God Eater hasn't quite clicked with me. However, after seeing some videos of this third game, I'm feeling a lot more hyped for it, I have to say, so I'm excited to see what this game has to offer me when I start playing later on this evening. I'm liking a lot of these hairstyles though, they're really cool. I mean, the anime level is over 9,000 for this, of course. I mean, it's God Eater, come on. So, how many of you are fans of the God Eater series? Have you played all of the games? Have you only played one of the games? Let me know in the comments section. Or is this going to be your first God Eater game? Let me know. As far as I know, for those of you wondering, you don't have to have played the previous God Eater games at all. They are pretty much standalone and they go over a lot of things about the history uh, of the origami and stuff like that for you as well. Plus you can always check the wiki if you really want to fill yourselves in that badly. So I think the has I like this one, I think. That's really cool. So I'm going to go with that. Here we go. Oh, hair colour. So we have the base colour and we also have a shine colour as well. So because I'm wearing blue on this, I think I'm going to make this character blue. But let's just go through all of the options first of all. And just see what they look like. So you can really tweak this as well, which is cool. I like that. Nothing bothers me more than in games where you can create your own character and they have really bad limited colour choice options for hair. I mean, that's definitely something that bothers me about a lot of first party, uh, you know, like Nintendo games and like, you know, like making your me and stuff like that. Like they have very limited hair colour options, which really annoys me. There's actually not really a red. It's like a brownie colour. It's not, it's not a red like whatsoever. So I guess 
I mean, this blue is like a royal blue that I've got on right now, so I guess go with that, but... I don't know. Can I just like... Um... Actually, just make that like really bright and I'd probably say that's pretty close to this hair colour right now. I mean the face cam probably makes this blue look a little bit different but there we go. Uh, okay so let's go with the shine colour now. Um, I'd say white probably. I don't think you guys are going to notice a difference here. There's a slight difference when I'm clicking on them. But I don't think I need to show this for this video because it's so minimal and I'm guessing the base colour really affects how obvious the shine colour is as well. So that's pretty nice, a light blue shine. I think I'll go with that. Okay, so that's good. So let's back out. So let's have a look at the faces available. So this is face number one. So let's just try and position it as face on as we can. There we go. Oh my god, so evil. That's actually a pretty cool one with that hairstyle. I like that. <laughs> so are you guys going to make your character look fun and happy or evil? Let me know. That's cute. Number seven just looks really tired. <laughs> oh my god, my character's looking so hot right now. <laughs> Husbando material, my own character. Right, okay. I think I'm going to go with uh, that one, actually. I want him to look really angry. Let's have a look at the expressions. Right, so you can actually change the expressions with each eye type, then. So I guess I should go through these again so you guys can see the options. I want this video to be as in-depth as possible really so you, that you guys like get to see all the options available before you get the game. Okay, some of them I'm going over again because, yeah, <laughs> I'm forgetting how many there are for each available face type. So mad. Oh, just always sullen. <laughs> it's pretty much the same for each face type, isn't it? The same, like, expression, but obviously it looks different depending on the face type you're actually choosing. I've probably missed an option there, but you guys get the idea. It's the same. Like, there's the same, like, what, four or five different facial expressions for each face choice, I would say. So we're just scrolling through them a little bit. Obviously, I won't... Well, I might do it a little bit on the female. We'll see. Oh my god, that one's so mad. I wonder if like it's your permanent facial expression, whatever one you pick, or if it just shows you like all of the options available. There we go, that's what I want. Okay, eyes, 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 eyes. Right, okay, so that's number one. Number two. Third option. And the fourth option. Can we, like, zoom in a little bit? Oh. Right, that's as close as we can go, guys. I can't zoom into the eyes any more than that. Right. I think 
Carol like number two, so let's go with that. And I call her, here we go, Carol Bolt Blue, Ruby Red, Fox Brown, Golden Yellow, Citrus, Grass Green, Sea Green, Sapphire Blue, Orchard Purple, Black, Wine Red, Emerald Green, Ultramarine Blue, oh we're getting fancy now, Silver Grey, quite like the grey ones for him. Skin Colour, here we go, right. So let's go through all of these options guys. Oh good, we can have darker skin. Awesome. Give us those skin colour variations for everybody to enjoy playing so they can make characters that look like them. That's what I like to see. But I'm very pale. Um, probably set. I don't know. Those two are pretty similar. I'm not... I guess I am, like, really pasty. So probably that one is the most accurate. But I don't like how it's making the eyes and the eyebrows look. So I'd probably say that colour, maybe. And then... That's a bit better, there we go. So I've kind of like customised my own skin colour there. Accessory A, let's have a look. Hairpin. Hairpin 2. Let's just rotate it. Clip. So this is mainly going to be for the girls. I guess the guys can wear them too, let's not be sexist here. Oh, that's awesome. I like that actually for him. That's pretty cool. Nice little butterfly. Uh, a gecko, I guess, I think that is. Or just a general lizard. Oh, it looks like a belt buckle there. Oh, we've got... <laughs> we've got the anime, like, one single hair bang coming off the top of the head. I don't even know what that's called. They're calling it frizz, but whatever that's pretty cool actually can we change the color of that oh change color oh my god you can black right so there's limited color choice for the frizz options i think black's pretty cool actually oh extension Oh, that's nice. That is nice, actually. I think I like that one the most, though, at the moment. The third extension option. Oh, no. That one's good. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Ooh, that one's nice. I wonder if these are the same for the ladies as well. Hang on a sec. Where's number eight? Oh, number eight is at the back, guys. Like a ponytail. Well, it's not like a ponytail. It is a ponytail. And then we've got some braids there. That's pretty cool as well. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Kind of like cat ears. As you can see, I'm a fan of the cat ears. <laughs> Ribbon. Ribbon 2. Yeah, it seems like these options are for both male and female, so it's totally up to you how you want to make your character look. Or oh, I like that one with the feather. I do like that. That's pretty cool as well. Headset, that's cool. Headphones. The hair mostly hides the headphones, though. So I kind of feel like that's a waste. Uh, military barrette. Oh my god, we do have actual cat ears though! Change colour. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
They look amazing. Oh no. Dog ears as well. Again, the same coloration options if you change the color. Bunny ears. Mech ears. They're pretty cool. Oh, darn guys. Oh no. I think I'm going to go with cat ears for this character. And I think the black ones. Accessory B. Let's have a look. Tape on the face. So this is for the face then. Okay, that's tape. So that's what was on my character originally. Glasses. Oh my god, Angry Cat Boy. He looks like a proper nerdy character from a visual novel game right now. <laughs> Oh yes! That is amazing! <laughs> that completes the look so much guys, so much. I think I'm gonna have to go for the shades, I don't even care what else is available right now. <laughs> pretty cool. That's a strong look with the ears and then the headgear as well. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's have a look at the colour options. Oh no. Oh no. This one could be it. <laughs> Persona! <laughs> Earrings. Uh, that's like a chain? Oh, a chain with a little bit on the end there, guys. Again, this is as close as I can go to the character right now. There's a lot of different options here, guys. You can have a lot of fun making characters. I'm gonna have to really think what character I want to make for my part one stream later now. Uh, where is that? I can't see where that one is. Oh, it's on the forehead. Can you guys just see it there? It's just my hair's hiding it. I'd have to change my hair. Hang on. Um, so that's number seven. Uh, let's just go to a hair. There we go. So that's what it looks like, guys. That's the uh, number seven. Face paints. Now we're on to scars. Oh my god, night vision goggles. And beauty mark as well. Right, so that's all of them. So that's that's a lot of options there, guys. Uh, hang on a second. Let's just scroll up to what I wanted. I think it was sunglasses, wasn't it? Or was it the mask? I think I quite liked the mask, actually, in black. Yeah, that's so anime now. Voice, here we go. Attack now. I'm in trouble. Rip and slice. Oh, by the way, guys, you can choose both English and Japanese VA for this. So it's so totally up to you which one you want to go for. For this character creation, I'm just using English VA and that's it, okay? Just wanted to get that out there right now. Just give it a whack. We'll have to be cautious out there. Never thought I'd need help. That one seems familiar, not gonna lie. Mission accomplished. Oh, damn you all! Following up. Be quiet. Thank you. Whenever you're ready. Set. Stop flailing already. Give me a break. Ha. Impossible. Well, this is unpleasant. Here goes. 
Thanks a bunch. It's okay. Let's stay positive. These are some good voices, guys. You wimping out on me? I recognize these a lot, though. I wonder if these are previous voice actors from other God Eater games in the series or not. Have you finished your battle simulation yet? Oh, <laughs> that's so posh. <laughs> that all you got? Might as well see how far we can go. Might as well see how far we counter time. Leave it to me. Here we go. I like sixteen for this character particularly. I'll squash you. Yeah, I got this. Is this really happening? Yeah. I don't care. We've got work to do. Steal yourself. Die. Unclean. Unholy. Purge the heretic. There we go, guys. So I think for this particular character, if I was going to go with it, it'd be number 16 for me. Nice work. So, what'd you give my guy out of 10, guys? Is he husbando material? I think he's sexy. <laughs> he would sweep me off my feet right now. I'm a blue cat. He's a blue cat. He's the man for me. Anyway, so that was male character customization. Now we're going to move on to female, guys. So let's go ahead and back out and switch to female. There we go. Okay, good. So it's reset everything. That's awesome. All right, so hairstyle one. I wonder if any of the hairstyles are shared between male and female. So it's awkward to get my actual real hair like type in games like this because my well, I suppose my hair's got a little bit longer now, but it's awkward to get the fringe right. And I'm really fussy with the fringes that I actually like on lady characters. That's cute, but I don't wear my hair like that. Oh, I like that hair though. Nothing like my real hair, but whatever. <laughs> I really like that one. Let's just uh, zoom out a little bit, that's a bit better. Oh, look at that boob jiggle, though. The boob physics, guys. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. Now this video has been demonetized by YouTube. <laughs> That's nice. Pigtails. Ooh, I like that one as well. See, I can't plait hair at all, otherwise I would actually try and look like this in real life. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I've watched videos and I just fail every time. I need someone else to do it for me and I don't trust my mom. And like hell, I'd ask my brother. <laughs> That's quite cute, but my hair's longer than that. Okay, so out of all those hairstyles, I quite like the third one, and also probably number five is my favourite here. I really like the way it's wavy near the ends and all the different lengths and stuff, and the way the fringe is, so I'd say number five is the one I'm going to go for. Let me know your favourite female hairstyle down below in the comments, guys. Hair colour. So for this one, I think I'm going to go with... Let's go with a green colour for this girl. But again, we've got all the same colour options here, guys. I don't feel like I need to go through all of this at all. You've seen it on the mail. Um, so let's just go with green. I want it to be like a nice... I think like a nice deep green, really. No, not that green. Actually, um, maybe even just change it to this one and then let's just make it like darker and then I don't know actually, a bright green is quite nice. Let's make the blue a bit more. Oh, that's a nice colour. I like that, actually. I'll go with that. Right, shine. Okay, shine. Blue or like a silver, I guess? Silver's quite nice, so let's go with that. Face! Here we go, face. Let's 
That's really big, like, anime eyes there. I'm not that fond of that look, really, for characters. I quite like the third option again. Didn't I pick the third option for the male with the eyes as well? Uh, sorry, the face. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll through. I don't want to go through all the expressions here because we've already done that with the male. I quite like the third one, so I'm going to go with that and then let's have a look at eyes. Ooh, they're nice. They're quite mystical, you know? Ooh, wow. Make them really big. Okay, I think I'm going to go with option two for that, and then let's change the eye colour. Yellow is nice, actually. Just going to scroll through and see all the options, though. So it's all the same options as male, obviously. Okay, I'm going to go with the golden yellow for that. Skin colour. Let's make her... There we go. That is nice. That is really nice, guys. I'm loving that we can have some darker skin shades. It's totally awesome. Okay, accessory. It's all the same. Again, exactly the same options as male guys. So they share the same options um, for accessories. So I don't feel like I need to go through those. I think I'm just going to go with the skull for her. And I think she would look cool with like scars of some kind. I think Scar 1 is pretty cool. Uh, change position. No, I quite like it on that side of the face. Change colour. Just makes it darker. I just want it quite light, actually. Voices! Here we go. This is what we want. Let's get this show on the road. Eyes up. Stay focused. Get your heels here. Eyes up, stay focused. Just don't give up, okay? Stay still already. Don't look so down. We Sorry, but I'm gonna kill ya. This is no place to lie down. There! There we go! I won't break so easily. Impulse Edge! Thank you very much. Go, 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 go! It'll be fine, I guess. Yeah! Ugh. This is not good. Go knock on the gate. Again, I'm recognizing quite a few of these voices, guys. Change mode. I got this. Go down. That's nice. Voice 11 suits this character. Th thank you. <sighs> you asked for it. Much obliged. Yeah. Moonax active. Yeah. I shall claim this access. Accept this. This ends it! Commencing mission. It's over. So do you guys like quite squeaky, high-pitched female voices? Or do you like quite serious, uh, more deeper female voices for your characters? Huh? I think it depends on the character it's I make, over. really. Everyone gets scared sometimes. Huh. Well, I quite like 18 for this character as well. Did you have some fun? All right. I can't help myself. And 19 is pretty good. I'll carve you up. Ugh, unbelievable. All right, I quite like 19. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm this because apparently there is a boob slider for females, but I don't see it on here. We've gone through all of the options and there doesn't seem to be one. Proceed with this character. The following can be changed later. Hairstyle, hair color, accessory, yes. Okay. 
Well, I'm assuming we don't get to do that. Maybe that's something you unlock later. Okay, it seems like it. Right, I'm backing out then, guys, because obviously I don't want to show any of the game just yet. So that was the character creation customization options in the third God Eater game. Let me know once again, guys. Don't forget to share what kind of character you like to make. Do you like to make your character looking as close to you in real life as possible? Um, do you like to make a badass, evil-looking character, a cutesy, bright anime girl? Let me know. Share everything down below in the comments. Also, tweet at Gadget Girl Kylie with a screenshot of your character, guys. There's going to be a link down below to the created playlist for the third God Eater game, so make sure you don't miss out. And also, there's links to my other playlists for the previous God Eater games that I've covered on the channel. There's going to be part one going live tonight, live streams, third God Eater game, so don't miss out. I hope to see you all at the streams, and I look forward to seeing your comments and uh, just hearing about your experiences on the game. But hopefully you enjoyed this in-depth character customization creation video. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, hit that bell, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next live streams and in the comments of my videos. Bye-bye, guys.